Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with CEO Tranquility. I'm your host, Pete Pardo, publisher and CEO of SOT. Today we've got, uh, I'm going to say, one and a half um, new releases for you here. All right. Uh, the reason why I say one and a half is one is a full length CD, the other is basically like kind of like a maxi single, a, a single with a couple different versions on it. All right. I'm talking about this is all from Rodney Matthews. So you probably think Rodney Matthews, isn't he like that famous artist who does all those album covers for Magnum and he's done Asia and all sorts of other bands and fantasy books and sci-fi books and all that kind of stuff. And I, I would say you are absolutely correct. You probably did not know, or maybe you did, that Rodney is also a pretty accomplished drummer. All right. He was playing in bands back in the 60s before he really got his start uh, in the uh, you know painting and art and all, and all that kind of stuff. And he has long wanted to put together like a symphonic rock or prog or just rock kind of spectacular right do an album a full-fledged album and he's been kind of like planting the seeds and work on this little by little for many many years finally it's come to fruition it's called trinity uh, and he's worked on this for many years with his friend jeff sheets who is a amazing guitar player we've got oliver wakeman here as well you can see uh, rodney signed my copy here a lot of notable people on here as well all right Let's get out the glasses so Pete can see what the hell he's doing here. Uh, like I said, Oliver Wakeman on keyboards. John Payne, okay, on bass and vocals. John Payne, of course, formerly of Asia. John Payne's Asia. Tony Clarkin on bass. Tony Clarkin, of course, songwriter, guitar player with Magnum. Okay, you got Rick Wakeman. You got Papa Wakeman on board here, too, on one song, and harpsichord and church organ. Okay, you've got uh, Pete Coleman on bagpipes, recorders, and keyboards. You've got uh, Steve Amadeus on bass. You've got uh, Charlie McNeil on alto saxophone on one song. Okay, you've got Sarah. Oh, boy. Sarah on vocals. Sarah, I'm sorry. I, I can't read your, uh, cannot read your last name. And Mark Williams as well on narration. Jeff Sheets on all guitars and Rodney Matthews on drums. So, uh yeah, this is quite good, all right? Quite good. Basically, it's a mix of, like, modern symphonic prog rock with, like, a great hint uh, from the 70s, all right? Lots of really cool keyboards on here and orchestrations, blistering guitar work, all right? A good chunk of the album is instrumental. got some vocals here and there, but it's just very regal, majestic, grandiose, sweeping type of stuff. Uh, if you love that sort of thing... You're going to totally dig this. Uh, the artwork, of course, is spectacular, as uh, you know we can expect from Mr. Matthews. There's all the folks involved. Okay. Uh, we've got how many tracks? you got 10 tracks. Uh, most of the songs are, you know, five, six, seven, eight minutes long, something like that, a couple shorter. Uh, I'm really enjoying this quite a bit. It's very melodic. Like I said, the couple of vocal pieces. Oh, uh, Bob Catley's on here as well, briefly. Uh, he plays like uh, hand claps and I think a little backing vocals. But um, yeah, quite, quite good. I think if, uh, if Rodney, if this is the only recorded work you ever release, you knocked it out of the park on this one. All right, I enjoyed it quite a bit. But let's hope that it doesn't take as many years to put together part two if you ever decide to do that. Because this is uh, quite spectacular. I think any prog rock fan will want to hear this and enjoy it quite a bit. Okay. You know, I mean, if you want to compare to like um, some of the, uh, you know, I hear a little bit of hints of camel and you hear a little yes in spots, maybe some classic Genesis. But I think it's got, it's just a really good kind of bright, bombastic symphonic rock album. All right. And uh, it's got some little folky touches here and there, but mostly it's pretty up tempo stuff and bombastic. And I think you get the picture. It's very good. In addition, uh, coming out right around the same time, uh, the single I was talking about, this is uh, Rodney Matthews and Oliver Wakeman in the bleak midwinter. Okay, you got some of the same players. I believe Mr. Sheets is on this as well. Uh, yeah, we got uh, David Mark uh, Pierce on guitars, Steve Amadeus on bass. No, Mr. Sheets is not on this, sorry. Uh, Miv Cameron on vocals, Charlotte Dickerson on vocals, and Pete Coleman on recorders. All right, uh, this is basically, you know, the song itself is uh, like seven and a half minutes. Very lush, pastoral, okay, acoustic guitars, you know, then you got a little heavy bombastic middle section, a lot of nice keyboards, angelic ethereal vocals. Really, really nice song. And, you know, man, this artwork is just drop-dead gorgeous. Look at that. 
and then you've so you've got the the regular full track you've got the uh the carol edit because this is based on an old holiday carol uh and then a radio edit so 709 358 and 539 are the track times i do want to mention because i i probably should have done this first the the trinity album all the tracks all the songs on the album are based on uh rodney's various paintings of rodney so you i'm telling you you got to get either the cd or the lp here because you've got to be able to have this booklet and kind of really read along to each track getting commentary from rodney on how the track was created how the song came and how it was inspired by a piece that he had drawn so for instance uh so you can see here each each song you're going to see the painting some of them you might recognize all right if you're a fan of rodney over the years okay it's from the Obviously, that's going to look quite familiar to a lot of people. All right. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I think you get the picture, but, you know, you're going to get, you're going to get the painting, and then you're going to get the reason how, or how it inspired the song. Okay. Pretty cool stuff, I think. All right. So uh, there you have it. Rodney Matthews and Friends. Trinity as well as in the bleak midwinter they're both available on his website so go check it out rodney matthews studios um yeah well worth it if you're a prog lover i think you got to have these in your collection uh this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org for the full reviews of both of these we go song by song and all that kind of stuff this is on facebook and we're here of course on youtube all the damn time so we've got more stuff coming up you don't want to miss any of it so in the meantime go check these out I think you'll dig him. Rodney, you did a great job. Love the artwork. Love the tunes. We'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.